The Tall or Langa Anna Rock is Heligoland's most famous landmark. It has survived two world wars, but now wind and waves are gnawing at its sandstone base. The landmark could soon be washed into the North Sea. The rock is not only loved by local residents, it's also a magnet for visitors to Heligoland. See it while you can, although it won't be disappearing in the next 20 years. I hope it doesn't collapse because it's a special attraction on the island. A few years ago, attempts were made to secure it, but to no avail. Steel scaffolding would alter the rock's appearance entirely. A wall of stones to stop the erosion would have cost up to 20 million euros. The tasks facing Heligoland are immense and involve lots of money. But I don't think there is enough money available to save Langa Anna, even if it were possible. The head of the tourist office wants to give the whole island a makeover. The number of tourists who come here has fallen in recent years. The duty-free cruises from Cuxhaven, Busum or Hamburg aren't as popular as they used to be. The traditional landing boats are still packed, but nowadays only four of them bring day-trippers to the island. It used to be ten or more. Heligoland still offers duty-free spirits and cigarettes. But the increase in the ferry prices means visitors no longer make any great savings. Some of Heligoland's business community are now looking for new ways to attract visitors. We used to have a shop where we sold schnapps and cigarettes. We no longer stock alcohol and have greatly cut down on our tobacco supplies. We'd rather sell beauty care products than things that are harmful. The prospect of Heligoland losing its landmark doesn't worry Rudolf Antoni. If Lange Anna goes, the next bizarre rock is right behind. The show will go on. But to keep the tourists coming, Heligoland needs more hotel beds and a new harbour. Two years ago, a Hamburg investor suggested enlarging the island by dumping huge amounts of sand between the main island and an offshore one. But most residents reject the idea. Before thinking about more artificial land, we should first make use of the existing potential. We still have ground available. I don't see any shortage. Nobody can tell me it makes economic sense. I just don't believe it. Torsten Konradi and his wife Claudia own two hotels. They are profiting from a new trend. More tourists are staying on the island for longer rather than just coming for the day. Heligoland is an insider tip. And it's catching on. It's just the right place for nature lovers. For example, bird watchers who come to photograph the gannets and common moors. Or people who love to watch the seals. This is unspoiled nature. It's really impressive to see the animals so close up. The seals swim up as close as two meters away from you. At first, you don't even notice them. A paradise for nature lovers. That's how Heligoland plans to market itself in the future. The mayor doesn't like the idea that Lange Anna might someday be gone, but he can see the bright side. It's disappearing bit by bit. It could be gone tomorrow. But I hope it'll take a long, long time before it's gone. I don't think we should interfere with nature. People have to stop doing that. We should live with nature instead. And this is a natural process. That's just how it is. But for the time being, the island's landmark is still standing up to the wind, rain and the waves.